What is happening guys? We are Craig and Amy and you are watching King and It! And this week we are finally getting the electrical setup of our dreams. Her name is Custard. And she's a big green and creamy butter. Her suit will be our home. Pesto. And we can go anywhere in her. Sometimes we call her pestered, like pesto and custard. Custard. Last week we briefly showed you what we were doing with the electric. We had a full day installing new bits and bobs with our mate Neil from KS Energy. Then we attempted to drive to him in Worcester for part two of the installation. En route, we broke down on the side of the motorway. Some silly bugger forgot to put diesel in, so we got towed all the way home. Well, we all make mistakes, don't we? <laughs> The end goal for Custard is to be able to travel full time and the most amazing thing about this new setup is that we will be able to work on the road. We would also love to take the podcast on the road with us and we want to be able to charge all of our camera gear and keep making videos as we move around. This bus isn't just going to be our home, it's going to be our office on wheels. So in order to achieve that, we've decided to upgrade our batteries, our inverter and add more solar panels to the roof. So this week we're going to attempt the electrical install part two again. <laughs> but before we do that, we need to clean this barn because it's stinking. First job of the day, we've got to move this down the dump. But we got a bit of a blockage. There's always something. We can't just go, oh, it's Monday, let's go to work. And then we go to work and we do work. Because there's always something in the bloody way. But you know what's good about us? We always find a solution. And the best part is, you can still get out. So let's do it anyway. Don't be sarcastic, well, I'll chop you in the throat. That was a lot of stuff. Oh, the car is gonna stink. Let's hurry up then. So we just have a little cleanup, ain't we? Ain't we? Well, I see you on your phone a lot, so what are you actually doing? Uh, um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I've got a new Instagram. Got a new Instagram, and how she thinks new she's selling. Yeah. She's changed, you've changed, mate. Okay, so we're doing a few things. We're popping a few a few things up. He's Boom! Got, he's got, Boom! He's got his, uh, what's that called? Drill. Okay, so Big I want- Big boy tool. Obviously, um, that is the bathroom, so I want that there. <gasps> Not an inch out, right? Or you'll be sacked as my personal handyman. Right by there. New water filter, how's the water? Why is it spicy? <laughs> it's spicy? <laughs> no, I think it's all right now. Yeah? When I first put it in, like loads of black stuff came out. But I think you just need to like, you know, let it flow through. Circulate it. You want to try glass? Uh, you go first. That's fine. Swallow it. Mm -mm. No. What's it taste like? Rubber. So, uh, new ovens arrived. New new ovens arrived. That's uh, that's not an oven. Is that a flat screen TV? <laughs> <laughs> what actually is that? I think it's like one of those. It's like a sink and a hob combined. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Honestly, you got one job. <laughs> Switch the oven. And they said it's the wrong one. I, I should have opened it when he was there. He said, I mean, it looks like a pretty long box. Like, that's he, not going to fit in there. He said, if if um, if um you open it, I can't take it back. Right. So I was like, well, how am I supposed to check it without opening it? For God's sake. Jackson Leisure. It's not on. Look at those bad boys. So this is just a sneak preview. 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 I was going to say sneak peek and preview. Um, we're having a little bit of a colour change in custard, but I'm not going to show you everything right now because it's a surprise. So obviously soon enough we're going to be doing a whole new van tour inside. So we've got a few new pieces, including these lovely blinds, which are very like Scandinavian. I thought, you know, we'll mix it up a bit now. We've got the navy and the surfboard. They're called ring blommers. They're from Ikea, if anybody wants them. You, you're missing something important. What? Today. Come and sit next to me, Craig. Happy anniversary, babes. 
happy anniversary. I got you a present. Wicked. Yeah, we don't do presents anymore. It's been 12 years, so he doesn't give a shit about me anymore. That's not true. You spend enough online, love. <laughs> so today we're supposed to be going up to do the electrics with Neil. Very romantic. So romantic. So the new curtains have been put up for tonight, ready for our sleepover. The toilet has been emptied. We nearly had a bloody heart attack. Well done. Don't get a porta potty. No. So we're ready. Um, we're off to Worcester. It's going to take us two hours. To Worcester. I've got my iced coffee ready. I'm just going to pop that in my little cup holder there. Yes, look at that. Beautiful. When are you going to finish our shelf then? What's that? When are you going to finish our shelf then? Whenever you fancy finishing it. The best part is we've got some diesel today. <laughs> Morning, babes. Morning. How oh, was your sleeping custard? I slept really well, actually. I have to sit down and talk to your fans. Tell them. Just Tell wanted him. to say before, before Neil comes, he's such a nice guy and he's been so helpful. We've had his lithium batteries in the bus for the last two and a half weeks. Yeah, so he sells his own, doesn't he? Yeah, so um, so we did have lead acid batteries and we literally had to keep the bug the bus plugged in all the time, even just to charge our phones, the yeah. USB. But now, like we haven't plugged the bus in since we've had his batteries in here. And we've been running the fan, the water pump, all the USBs, lights. all the lights. Yeah. So they're top notch batteries. It's just so, so much more exciting, isn't it? To know that we won't have to worry about anything. Yeah. You can stick a light on or you can stick the water pump on and the lights aren't going to start flashing, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Very much excited to be fully off grid. Morning. This is Neil. Hello. To everybody. What's going on this morning then? Right, so what we are doing is connecting what's called a battery battery charger to charge these lovely lithium batteries. Because this bus is a 24 volt um, bus and we need to drop the voltage down to 12 volts and charge the lithium batteries as efficiently as we possibly can. Perfect. Do you know what, do you know what that means, Craig? Well, luckily, help, Neil's the mastermind. I'm just watching because I haven't got a clue what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> so luckily, we're, we're in good hands. Neil, can I use your toilet? Yes. Toilet. Absolutely. <laughs> Don't wreck it then. Neil hooked up the solar panels on all the other little bits and he gave us a quick rundown of how it all worked. So we're all done with Neil, the legend. So if you want to go to Care Energy, check out the batteries and all the stuff he offers there. Where can they find you, Neil? So it's ksenergy.co.uk. Perfect. And you've been such a champion. Thank you so much for everything you've done. You're very welcome. Look at your little face. You're so gorgeous, Craig. Everybody like this video if you think our ah, Craig's gorgeous. Don't, don't dislike it. <laughs> Lads, this is our new electrical setup. We've been waiting for this for so long and I'm so excited that it's finally in. So we're gonna start underneath this bench where our lithium batteries are. So we've got three 100 amp hour deep cycle lithium batteries which are top notch we did have lead acid batteries which were just terrible they don't hold their charge as well and these lithium ones they hold their charge like a mobile phone does so they last much longer so we've got 300 amp hours which makes it a 300 amp hour setup and what we've got then on top of that is a smart shunt so this smart shunt what'd you call me <laughs> it's Bluetooth and what it does is it talks to all of the batteries and it treats it like a 300 amp hour setup and then it gives you a breakdown of the percentage of the charge between 0 and 100 obviously. So basically that, that smart shunt just makes sure the batteries are all sharing their power properly and it, you can just connect to your phone on the Victron app with all of these devices. It's so awesome. So you can go on there and be like, what are my batteries doing? If you're a big tech geek, which you are, you're a you love it. So you might be thinking, well, you've got three batteries. How do you power them? Well, we've got three ways. So let's start with the first one. So this obviously isn't a how-to video. This is just showing you what we've got for what we need. So, but it'll give you a good idea if, you, if you're buying a 24 volt bus, 
what you might need to put in to set yourself up, do you know what I mean? So the first thing we've got is our B2B chargers. So because our bus is 24 volt system, it needs to be stepped down to 12 volts because that's what everything in the back runs off. So we've got two 30 amp Victron charger thingies. So it's 60 amps in total. So when you're driving, they produce 60 amps per hour. So if our batteries were completely flat, we could drive for five hours and they would be completely full. How good is that? So the second way of powering your leisure batteries is with solar. So right now we've got one 210 amp solar panel and two 110 amp solar panels on the roof. And then we've got this smart solar charge controller. So what that does is it takes all the power from the sun, it goes through a bunch of wires, it goes into this, and then it drip feeds that power into the leisure batteries. So if it's a bright sunny day, we can literally just do anything. That's some Harry Potter shit, that is. How mad is that? So it's basically like free electric from the sun. So we're like a drive-in plant. So the last way of charging your leisure batteries is with a 240 hookup. So it plugs into the side of the bus and then we've just got power through all the sockets and everything else. But hopefully we're not ever gonna have to use that because of our setup. Fingers crossed. So the biggest upgrade we've got, this is what we used to have. We bought this crappy 35 pound inverter off Amazon and it died in the first week. So now we've got a 3000 watt Victron inverter. Which is a bit much, isn't it? Yeah. It, Gary's like, what are you doing? That's gonna run a block of houses. You don't need it that big. But we've just, we don't wanna have to upgrade again, do we? No, so with this, we can like run hair dryers and you can do your straighteners and your curlers and that. Cheers. Um, so what it means is, the, the leisure batteries run off 12 volt, but what the inverter does is it takes that 12 volt and it turns it into 240. So 240 is basically anything household like that you plug into the walls, mm -hmm. like microwaves, kettles, stuff like that. So what that means is we can plug in our laptops, we can charge our batteries, we can charge our drone, we can do the podcast in the bus yeah. without having to plug into any electricity. Fabulous. We literally just off the solar and then it goes through the inverter. Into the, it's, just, it's just bloody oh, magic. Just, yeah. So that is our setup, and I honestly couldn't be happier with it. So if you've got any questions about our setup, leave them in the description and I'll forward them on to Neil. <laughs> um, but that is not it for this week. We've got some super exciting stuff happening tomorrow. So we'll see you then. Thanks again to Neil from KS Energy. If you want some lithium batteries, give him a shout. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Vietnam. So um, today is another fantastic day. It's a lot cooler, so we might actually get some work done today. Is it cooler because I'm here? Mm. <laughs> Today, lots of things are going to happen really, uh, but one of the main things is that I'm going to make a flower garland to, <laughs> to fit somewhere in this bus. Shut up! You're going to make an old flower garland, you babe! <laughs> and it's going to be flipping wicked. Um, we've also got a guy come in. We're having a very special bathroom floor put in. I don't know if we mentioned it, but I'm very excited. We've got a brilliant design going in there. Um, he's doing epoxy resin. Uh, what else is happening today? Steve's here. Steve is here. Steve the man is here. Steve, oh, Steve We've got oh. little bits and bobs. For example, Go show the wood. all of this needs to be boxed in because it just looks so fugly. Um, and also the back shelf on the back is no more. So we need to fit that with like a nice shelf. I think Steve's got some, Hello. yeah, it's beautiful wood out there. Look at him in his little Hawaiian shirt, he's such a babe. Today is gonna be a good day. Here he is, talking to the devil. Hey, Steve-o, Steve-o. bring you some lovely oak. Oh, it's oh, fabulous. This, this goes with everything else. Touch it. Oh yeah, oh, lush. Yeah. Gorgeous. Spicy. Very spicy. <laughs> spicy. So Steve actually built our original shelf, but we took it out because the bed's got a different setup now. So we're using the old one as a template, and Steve's gonna whip up a, a brand new one out of this lovely bit of oak. So the oven's finally come. Wheels. Fits in there, lovely. Look at that, it's got a button that works. Are you gonna attach it to the gas? No, not yet. I think I'm missing a piece. Are you gonna attach it to the gas? Cause I think 
if I just keep like 999 on on the call on the phone close to me on the phone that already dialed in on the phone maybe I will maybe you will what attach it to the gaff oh you make it look garland you babes yes so what I'm thinking is I had this thought right before Craig had his stupid surfboard don't talk about so, Vernon like that who Vernon Vernon that's what we're gonna call it I thought you were gonna call it midnight it's much nicer midnight mal midnight mal anyway uh, so that's like the focal point of this bus when the bloody this should have been all of these so uh, I'm thinking now maybe it might not work that well however I'm gonna do it anyway I'm gonna put it here above here because I feel like that's dead space and it will be lovely bit of that and uh, if it doesn't work out then uh, I'll just sell it so it could be for sale it's gonna be <laughs> lush so DM me for more information <laughs> Oh, look out, she's got a glue gun. This could be dangerous. <laughs> this will be Don't very dangerous. Don't glue your dangerous. armpits together. <laughs> Me oxters, as my mum says, because she's Irish, and we're like, what are they? I've also texted into a competition on the radio. All you have to say when they ring you off a withheld number is capital, give me the cash and you could win £30,000. So I did that in the car going to pick up the flowers. But I'm not going to tell Craig or Steve because I know they'll just ring me and I'll be like, oh my God, it's a withheld number, capital, give me the cash. And they'll be like, ah, it's me. <laughs> so uh, today's going to be a great day. Um, not only because we've got loads going on, but because I'm going to win 30 grand. Fingers crossed. Ah, oh, thank you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Steve. You right, right. <laughs> look garland, babes. You look lovely. <laughs> Moment of truth. Shelf's going in. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that, mate. Once I fix it, that's beautiful, isn't it? Art on a bus. Art on the bus. Beautiful shelf sorted. And I can't believe he made our bed. He made the bed as well. <laughs> what a legend. Look at that. Look at that. Look at just, that. just the shelf by there fits in beautiful. Steve, you're an absolute champion, mate. <laughs> what a legend. Absolutely beautiful work as usual. Oh, Craig, mate. Craig, it's all well, coming together. Well, uh, it's coming together, I know. I know, I can't wait. So Steve, we're going to go for lunch now and then we're going to come back and we're going to box all these in finally. Yeah. So because all the electric's done, this is ready to be hidden away forever. Yeah. And then that's basically it, isn't it? Then the bathroom floor. Bathroom floor. And then the gas. Or oh, and the gas. But that's almost... And the hot water. And the hot water. And the hot water. But then, then we're nearly then done. We're finished. Then we can go to Scotland, yeah? <laughs> yeah, hopefully, if we get it all done in time. But we'll be going anyway, so... Fab. So exciting, isn't it? Yeah, I can't wait. Custard. Bloody beautiful, mate. Neville! Neville! <laughs> oh, yeah, do you want to borrow Neville, mate? That's that right. Yeah, go for it. Right, Neville. Yeah. Gotta come and play with me now, boy. It's not ringing. It's not ringing. Come on. <gasps> You're doing it in you. <laughs> You little bugger! <laughs> <laughs> you could have had engagement then on my phone so they couldn't bloody ring me. <laughs> Why is it too early? I know the other Did you think you were going to win Capital? Give me the cash. My heart's going. I literally, you buggers. Sorry, love. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I told him at lunch, didn't I? After we finished pranking Amy, our mate Jordan turned up to do the bathroom floor. The first job was to take up the old floor in. Stage two, we sanded it down. And the next stage was to lay down some concrete. Plug all now. now don't give him no jobs, he's no, gonna mess the I'm whole thing up. He's going, uh, 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 <laughs> should I do it, should I not? <laughs> yeah, no, I'll do it, I'll do it, it's fine. What have you found? We just found a little baby mouse. Oh my god. He's, I'm not sure how healthy he is or where his mum is, but he's he's moving. So, uh, 
He's just sort of squirming on the floor, wasn't he? Yes, yeah, so we're going to try and keep him alive. Yeah, guys. Okay, Steve's oh, just God. built him um, one of these with some holes for his breathing. He's wait. He needs to be warm. We need to make him warmer. He's 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 happy. We're giving him some soy milk. Whether or not that's the right thing to do, I don't know. Hopefully, he survives. If you know how to save a mouse, comment below. So as Braveheart leaves this world, we pray that he makes it into heaven. He was only with us for about 27 minutes, but in that time, I had made plans for us. I had pictured us traveling the world together, and Steve thought he was gonna be a godfather. Miss you, buddy. I hope he's dead anyway. Right lads, this is Alex. Say hello, hello. to your fans. Hi mate, how are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> and he's just bought our fridge, so yeah. you're actually doing your own van out, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, so this is Martha. Martha. Uh, possible name anyway. Yeah. Uh, she's a runner traffic, uh, I just got her about two months ago. Had a bit of engine trouble, but mm -hmm. ended up getting that sorted. Yeah, take it on some trips around Europe, maybe do ski season with it, go up North Coast 500 next week. Nice. Uh, not going to be used as a camper then, obviously, because it's not done, mm -hmm. but uh, just as your storage and use the fridge for some cold beers on the road. Brilliant. Yeah, well, lovely. we're glad we could help, and Amazing. thanks for taking us. Can we get you on the gram? What's your gram? Instagram? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, Alex Alex H. E. It is. There you go. <laughs> Brilliant. Cheers, lad. See you, mate. Take it easy. Would you look at that? People come, they buy our stuff, and they bring cupcakes. Like, they're the type of friends we need, Craig. Are we living the best life? Yes. We have the best, like, friends around the world, don't we? She is Deb for the cupcakes. Yeah. Really, really nice to meet you, Alex, you legend. And they match the jacket that I got free from a charity shop. So that is it for this week's vlog, lads. You're going to have to come back next week to see what the bathroom floor is going to look like. And what this lovely young lady's little garland's going to look like on the <laughs> on the wall. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. As I say, uh, not sure if it's going to go in here but, yet, yeah, but if it isn't, DM me to buy it. So it's been a super productive week. Yeah. Um, we've got loads done. Uh, it's amazing what happens when you put a bit of diesel in, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thanks again to Neil from KS Energy, uh, Steve for coming down, and yeah. Jordan for the flooring. Yeah. What a time, what a week. It has. So next week we're going to be finishing off like final pieces because we're almost there. We're nearly there, Craig. We're nearly there. But we need some advice on what water heater to get. We have got one, but with it you have to cut out the side of the bus and we don't really want to do that. Plus it's massive and it looks really old. So is there like a moderner one we can get? We have researched, there's loads online, but we just don't know what to yeah, get. Preferably we want a gas heater. Gas so if you've got heater. any suggestions, leave them below. Yeah. Other than that, I'll see you next week. Yeah, we've had a wicked week though, haven't we? With like some lovely talks on people who really want to make a change in their life. And they've, they've kind of seen the burst and taken inspiration like, I could do that and you can do that. But if we can do it, guys, you can do it, okay? Always remember, your life is your life. You choose what you do with it, right? Just you. So if you're listening to this and you needed to hear that, go out and make your change for yourself. Love yourself. Self-care, self-worth, you're worth every penny, mate, and you look you look lush today, okay? So always remember to rule your own world. One, two, three, bye! bye. Some silly p- Silly what? <laughs> you call me? So the first way of charging these bad boys is through our DC to DC things. Hang on. <laughs> and that produces 60 amps per hour. Check one note again.